This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! All right, school's out for summer. Maybe. Oh, is our dad in a good mood again? After arriving home, I quickly made preparations to head out once again. I had agreed to meet with Rena to dig Colonel Randy out of that mountain for treasure from before. All right, now I was all ready. Looking at my aim, my mom was stared quizzically. Uh, long story, Colonel Sanders is stuck in the dump and I gotta dig him out. Ah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If they come to dump again illegally, he'll be buried completely and it'll be impossible to dig him out. And if that happens, Rena will undoubtedly go after the Colonel Randy in front of the fried chicken place in town. <laughs> <laughs> Keiichi's mom's just like, all right, well, all right. Mom returned to the kitchen with a puzzled expression still on her face. Cutting through the woods as a shortcut to the dam site, I ran into someone. Hey! It's Mr. Ripped Man! It was Tomotake-san. Probably taking pictures of wild birds again with that precious camera of his. It couldn't be that he all he took pictures of was handsome young men in the twilight. Yeah, hey, bro, I would love to work out with you sometime. I expelled the rude imagery from my head and greeted him without inciting anything. He was probably talking about Rena. Guessing, by the way, Tomotaki-san was shaken up. What? <laughs> what? That was Rena, without a doubt. I expect she was grinning in anticipation of taking Colonel Randy home. <laughs> Rena, this is why you don't carry giant knives around and just like ha 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 that's a little creepy. Well, it certainly would be quite the spectacle for a girl of her age to be roaming about with a hatchet. <laughs> Tomotake-san's reaction was the epitome of logical. Bruh, what are you doing? Tomotake-san was alarmed by my crass response. Well, it's probably hard for normal people to understand Rena. I'll just toss out a bunch of baloney. <laughs> Bro, not the time. <laughs> Bro, this guy hasn't done anything wrong. I guess he took a photo of us without our consent. <laughs> With a condescending smirk, I stared off in the direction of the dam site where Rena was waiting. Before I got too far, Tomatake-san abruptly called out to me. Keiichi-kun, <laughs> Uh, I didn't mean that seriously. I did try to make it obvious, but... <laughs> Leaving only those words behind, Tomotake-san turned around and left. I didn't really mean to harm. Call him an outsider. I wasn't really implying anything when I said that. It was only meant to be a joke, but it felt like I'd said something bad. Back to the dump. Oh! She's in her casual outfit. She's not in work clothes, though. I understood what Tomotake-san was trying to say. Someone gavel-vanting about while waving a hatchet around certainly would seem dangerous. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh-oh. Thinking about it, there really was no need to try to keep up appearances. Everyone in Hin Hinamizawa probably already knew about Rena's eccentricities. 
She's probably the only person who would carry a hatchet around Hinamizawa and not be considered suspicious. My god. <laughs> I know, that does look like... <laughs> you are very right, DX. That does not... <laughs> that does look like a more formal outfit. I took the hatchet from Rena and made my way up the unstable slope. A solid thwack reigned throughout Hinamizawa, as if the job was being done by a lumberjack. Now that's a man! But this adversary was more formidable than I expected. First of all, I'd never used a hatchet before. During a school camping trip, I had wanted to split the wood, but I lost that rock, paper, scissors and wasn't able to do it. Because the spot where I was standing was uh, so unstable, I soon became tired and decided to take a break. And that's when Colonel Sanders came to life and shot laser eyes at us. Rena had already spread out a tarp and laid down some tea and sweets. I asked her nonchalantly while drinking tea. I had thought she'd lived here all her life. Oh, I know Kanto. That's the Pokemon area, right? I want to move out in the countryside. Absolutely. Like, when I get at my own place, I don't want to be in the city. I don't want to be in the suburbs. I want to be out in the country. Yes, please. That sounds so nice. Hey, the boonies are great. So beautiful and scenic. And quiet. <laughs> will it be the Japanese countryside? Uh, no. I'm, I will not be moving to Japan. I will probably stay within the USA. <laughs> Having said that, taking a vacation to other countries would be nice. Well, hang on, there is countryside in Michigan, and like my parents live in the country, but um, Michigan's cold. And pretty much every single company that I could work out in Michigan in my field is car related, and I don't really like cars all that much. So I'm very much the odd one out. When he started, his works were displayed as an, in, in an industry plaza in Tokyo, but now they're exhibited in the <laughs> Makuhari Messe. He's determined to have them displayed in the Waterfront International Exhibition Hall. <laughs> Fair enough. I was too embarrassed to tell her that I didn't really know what kind of pictures my father painted. Well, eventually I would. I picked myself up while giving some vague answers. I was trying to get answers from Rena, but I ended up being the one giving out all the answers. With a bit of a wry smile on my face, I grabbed the handle of the hatchet and headed back to the work site. Suburbs wouldn't be too bad, but you don't get nearly as much space in your yard, and you're kind of sandwiched between a bunch of other people. I like my privacy. The air grew colder as the sun slowly set. The Higurashi began their song as if to tell me to stop and head home for the day. Just a bit more. Today. I would end it! When I first started, I chatted with Rena as I worked, but now I didn't have to, that luxury. 
Damn it! It's Xan! I had sworn the hatcher countless times today, just like this. Contact. Shards of wood splintered. The assailants butchered the victim's body with hatchets and pickaxes. I recalled that passage from the tabloid. One hit with something like this would smash someone's head in. Axes and pickaxes are not meant to be swung at people. Ever. With one last swing, the beam cracked apart. The weight I put behind the hatchet not only split through the beam, but smashed the statue's shoulder as well. The arm came off with a sickening sound. It clattered down noisily, stopping at my feet. Uh-oh. Oh. We, ju we just decapitated Colonel Sanders. Or at least amputated one of his limbs. She's very sweet. She's much more worried about us than she was about the statue. I probably had a really guilty look on my face. Rena said that without a hint of dismay as she smiled. I guess that's true. All this work for a freaking Colonel Sanders statue? They still haven't found one of the arms. I laughed dryly at how pathetic I was, considering the arm flopping down and rolling to my feet to be such a bad omen. Both Rena and Mio knew how sickening that incident was. So they pretended that they didn't know. I had looked it up all by myself. And shamefully enough, I was scared. The right time to give free cheers. That moment of two days of work bearing fruit. He who was brought to Hinamizawa covered in filth to meet his end. Instead, we were able to welcome him back. You're pretty lucky, Colonel Randy. Your new master is a pretty decent person. We should tell her about the I Love You Colonel Sanders dating simulator. It didn't matter that he was dirty. Rena nuzzled him cheerfully with her cheek. That's a little weird. I was dead tired, but seeing Rena's happy face made it all worth it. <laughs> oh man. Can you bake a cake? And I by that I mean not one that is made out of just detergent like peach made, like a real cake. For now I just hold back my evil cackle. We were ready to take it to her house, but we couldn't go like this. We rolled the statue up in the tarp and lifted him. Rena, again, your parents do know about this, right? Nope! <laughs> and so Jack and Jill went down the hill carrying a human-sized bag and an unsheathed hatchet. I prayed that we wouldn't run into Tomatake-san. <laughs> if he saw us here and took a picture, we would need to get rid of him. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Is that meant to be a warning for an outsider like me? Something struck me as odd about the words Tomatake-san, unable to grasp my sense of humor had left behind. Well, you do have a weird sense of humor, bro. Like, you don't even know the guy, and you were like, Oh yeah, we kill people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little weird. Just, just a little bit. Oh boy, new tips! What kind of name is Rena? I mean, I guess I haven't heard of anyone named Rena before, but maybe this is like just a Japanese name. What kind of name is Rena? What are we about to encounter here? レナがいないでしょ。ケイチは知りませんですか？あれ、たった今までそこにいたのにな。おい、ミオ、レナはどこ行ったんだ？レナ？お手洗いじゃない？覗きたいなら止めないけど通報するからね。Okay, well, let's not gossip. I hadn't heard anything about that. レナを知りませんですか？レナさんですの？さっき廊下ですれ違いましたよ。レナさんは日直だから花壇にお水をやらないといけませんので。
Ah, Lena got it. So, yeah, I'll scare some of the good day. Well, someone's got to do it. Rena, Rena, Rena. Upon hearing it repeated, a thought came to mind. It's rude to say this about someone's name, but it has a weird name. It was a weird name. It was like some foreigner's name. Ren is quite a popular girl's name in Japan, but more recently than this takes place. Interesting. レナは、あだ名なのです。ちゃんとした名前がありますですよ。うん。え、そうなのか。俺はてっきりリュウグレナってのが本名だと思ってたよ。まあ確かにレナさんとしか呼んでませんから間違えるのも無理はないですわね。
I took Rena's hand and stood up. It was just the teacher. It was just as the teacher had entered the classroom. Just one more hour. Man, oh man. Go for buck. Gotta buckle down for one more. I miss break times. We don't really get those anymore now that we're adults. Okay, I made a big... I made a big deal about how this is going to be the most terrifying game I had played on my channel, most likely, and it hasn't been scary thus far. I don't know how, how much more there is to this first overall Okinikoshi Chapter 1, but I mean... I was expecting a horror game, and this is just a regular old visual novel. I'm really hoping that they're going to pull the, the Doki Doki Literature Club style, where it's normal at first, and then... <laughs> that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Ooh, scandalous! I met her parents. Unlike the ha my house, the Ryugu residence wasn't newly constructed. It had been renovated from a pre-existing building. Well, the house itself was fine. The problem was the yard. There, it was crammed with rows upon rows of oddities. Is this just Rena's hobby? She's like, I've got to collect all these weird statues and put them in front of my house. And her parents are just like, oh, Rena, I guess we can. <laughs> they were all the same as Colonel Randy. Stuff you'd see while walking around in town. The cake shop's mascot, Lil Licky. Uh, that is a very unfortunate name. The total mon in front of the pharmacy. She even had the amazing flying elephant from the top of the department store. Rena, we need to talk about your stealing addiction. I think Rena might be just a little bit of a kleptomaniac. She must have just thought about it because her face filled with delight. で、お部屋には小さいものがごっちゃりと陳列してありますの。前に配給したことがあるでございますわ。で、リカちゃんみたいな可愛い子は地下室にしまうのか。What the heck? <笑> Keiichi, what are you doing? <laughs> Just you try to take it. <laughs> the U.S. should probably come up with some countermeasures ASAP. Everyone in America has a gun. She ain't gonna succeed. <laughs> if not, the Statue of Liberty really will take a trip to Hinamizawa in the not-so-distant future. Actually, in New York, it's definitely going to be different. <laughs> Hi, Rika. Rika-chan had returned. Did you get to see the teacher's lounge? Who are you calling a hoodlum? I am not from Rayman Free. Ooh, festival committee. Matsuri? How exciting. No, the Mexican Jewish hey, Cultural hey, Festival. The Watanagashi, eh? Oh, come to think of it, she did say there'd be a festival at the shrine during the next break. So you dump your old furniture into the river. Okay. Huh. Interesting. 
Do you get to fire your guns in the air? Because if not, then it's really not a festival. <laughs> Clean up crew at an Apple Festival. Interesting. Apple Festivals are definitely a thing here as well. The Michigan's big on their apples. <clears throat> Excuse me. The people living in Hinamizawa dump their futons and padded cloaks in this stream? It sounds like it'd be a lot of trouble if it backed up the current. Maybe they should just drop some fish in and have a fish wrangling competition. <laughs> Rasslin'. Skewer them and sprinkle a little salt. Oh man, I can smell it already. <laughs> Rude. What sort of face could have expressed what I just imagined just now? Ran demonstrated it for me. I see. No argument here. <laughs> Should I? Alright, is it a date? I don't really like going to festivals unless someone asks me to. I wouldn't get bored if these guys were going. That's true. Come on, think of it like one of those Harvest Moon festivals where you get to do the chicken dance with the girl of your dreams. It's great. But also, it's it's terrible, but it's great. <laughs> Leon's proclamation came as she looked at each member in turn. What was this all about? From the way Mion looked, it was probably... Uh-huh. Uh, I think I'm sick that day. What part of four demon fire fight sounds cute? I tried to object sharply, but since Rena looked so happy about it, I decided it was pointless to fight it. Rika chan made a small correction in light of my presence. Yeah. <laughs> we each get a homemade flamethrower, and then... <laughs> okay, your laugh is very weird. Just once I would like to have normal friends. I wonder why! We cannot anger Mayor McCheese, or he won't let us eat at McDonald's anymore. Rika Chan really is the only one who explains things, so they make sense. <laughs> God bless you, Rika. I see. So we'll be exhibiting on those busy festival grounds. Rena was right. Of course it, there would be a reason for the mayor to get angry. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get kicked out of the village. Or maybe I do. But that was the only point I did not doubt. It would be, without a question, fun. The day of the festival was drawing near. 